हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल सेट्स बट बिफोर वी डिस्कस द डेफिनेशन ऑफ काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल सेट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इक्वल एंड सेट्स टू सेट्स ए एंड बी दे आर सेट टू बी इक्वल एंड इफ दे हैव द सेम कार्डिनेलिटी और वी कैन से इफ दे हैव सेम नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स mathematically two sets a and b they are said to be equivalent if there exists a 1 1 and on to function f from a to b next is the notation of equivalent sets if a and b are equivalent sets then we denote it as a is equivalent to b so let us discuss its example so let n be the set of natural numbers and e be the set of even natural numbers define a map f from n to e by f of x is equal to 2x for all x in n then we can easily check that the map f is 1 1 and on to so let us first check that the map f is 1 1 so in order to prove that f is 1 1 we will prove that for any two elements x and y of domain n such that fx is equal to fy we will get x equal to y so let x comma y belongs to n such that fx is equal to fy which implies 2x is equal to 2y which will give us x equal to y so that mean f is a 1 1 function next we will prove that f is a f is an on to function so for every element of the code main here our code main is e and its element they are of the type 2x for every element 2x belonging to e there exists an element x in n such that fx is equal to 2x so function f is an on to function so f is both 1 1 and on to function so we can say n is equivalent to e that is n and e they are equivalent sets so next one important question show that any two open intervals a b and c d they are equivalent of course a b c and d they are real numbers so in order to prove that these two open intervals are equivalent we will show that there exist a 1 1 and on to function from open interval a b to open interval c d so let us define a function f from open interval a b to c d by f of x is equal to c plus d minus c over b minus a into x minus a for all x in open interval ab so firstly we will show that the map f is a well defined map so in order to prove that f is well defined so let x belongs to open interval ab which means that x is greater than a and less than b now we will we will form the value of fx so subtract a we will get x minus a it will be greater than 0 but less than b minus a then multiply this inequality with d minus c over b minus a then add c we will get c plus d minus c over b minus a into x minus a it will be greater than c but less than d that is fx will be greater than c but less than d so we can say that fx belongs to open interval cd so therefore for every x in open interval ab we prove that fx belongs to open interval cd 
so therefore f is a well defined map next we will show that f is 1 1 in order to prove that f is 1 1 we will show that for any two elements x and y of open interval a b with f of x is equal to f of y we will get x equal to y so let x comma y belongs to open interval a b such that f of x is equal to f of y substitute the values of fx and fy then by left cancellation law c will be cancelled then again by left cancellation law of course under multiplication d minus c over b minus a it will be cancelled so we will get x minus a is equal to y minus a that is x is equal to y so therefore f is a 1 1 function what we prove we consider that fx is equal to fy and we prove that x will be is equal to y so f is a 1 1 function next we will prove that f is on to so let y belongs to open interval cd we have to show that y has pre-image every element of codomain we can find some element of the domain right so let y belongs to cd and f of x is equal to y substitute the value of fx and get the value of x in terms of y so we will get x is equal to a plus b minus a over d minus c into y minus c now since y belongs to open interval c d so y will be greater than c but less than d so y minus c it will lie between 0 to d minus c multiply it with b minus a over d minus c then adding a to this inequality we will get that a plus b minus a over d minus c into y minus c it will be greater than a but less than b that is x is greater than a but less than b so we see that for y belonging to open interval cd there exists this x which lies in open interval a b and for which f of x is equal to y so therefore f is an on to function so thus we see that f is both 1 1 and on to function hence open interval a b is equivalent to open interval c d so we can say that any two open intervals are equivalent so here i have included some questions for practice first one is show that open interval 0 1 is equivalent to open interval a b for every real numbers a and b provided a is less than b right so we can do it similarly or you can make substitutions in the above questions in the above question take a equal to 0 b equal to 1 c equal to a and d equal to b so we will get our answer similarly we can do question number two as well as question number three simply substitute the values of a b c and d but make sure first we have to prove our result that open interval a b is equivalent to open interval c d so next is the definition of finite and infinite sets a set which is either empty or has one one correspondence with the set one two three and so on up to n for some natural number n is called a finite set right we can understand it easily for example the set one two three it is finite the set one two three and so on up to ten it is finite set either it should be empty or it should be equivalent to this set 
and a set which is not a finite set is called an infinite set. Here I have included one example. The set 1, 2, 3 is finite and the set 2, 4, 6 and so on up to this is an infinite set. So next is our main definition countably infinite. An infinite set A is said to be countably infinite or denumerable or enumerable if it is equivalent to n that is if there exists a 1 1 correspondence between A and n. Of course n is a set of natural numbers. Right? So countable set a set which is either finite or countably infinite is called a countable set. Yaan ta set finite hoye ga bete, yaan fir set ki hoye ga countably infinite. Such a set is called a countable set and a set which is not countable is called an uncountable set. Right? So in this lecture we will study up to here the definitions of countable and uncountable sets. So right, thank you so much Bitte.